Hey guys, it's Koji. Hope everyone is doing well. I recently received this big box from Big Bad Toy Store. This is a pile of loot shipment that's been accumulating for a couple of months. So I thought I'd open it up on video and uh, take a look at what's inside with you guys. Alright, there's about 11 different items in here, very well packed as usual from Big Bad Toy Store. Let me uh, move this box down so we can get a good look at everything that's in here. So first up out of the box we have Masters of the Universe Origins, Wave 6, Lords of Power, Beast Man. This is the Beast Man that's based on the original prototype from the 1980s Masters of the Universe line. Slightly different design than the Beast Man we're used to. As always with this line, there's some beautiful card art on the back showing the uh, cross cell and the features of the figure. He does have some additional armor in back in the package that you can clip on his shoulders. Uh, really like this design. Certainly very beastly looking. Next up is his Wave 6 Wave Mate Web Store. This is not a figure I had originally in the 80s. So this is my first web store. He's got that spider motif going on with the multiple eyes on his head. Very nice design. These cards are a little bit bent, but it's okay, I plan to open them anyway. Webstore does have his grappling hook in line. When they show you he can uh, scale up the side of Castle Grayskull, do some nefarious deeds for Skeletor. Also a pretty cool looking figure. And continuing with the Origins theme, the Wicked Mosquito from the Evil Horde. With that red fluid, I can't call it blood, chest pumping action. Very creepy figure. Giant mosquitoes, everybody hates mosquitoes. Again, really nice art on the back there. He's attacking poor Fisto with his red liquid. And I had noticed in some other videos people had of uh, this figure in Europe, there's a lot of extra warning labels on the front there to comply with whatever safety standards they have. But not on this card. So those are some cool bits from Motu Origins. What do we have next? Marvel Legends. The ever-loving blue-eyed thing. Aunt Petunia's favorite nephew. On the Fantastic Four retro card that recreates the Toy Biz card from the 1990s from the animated series. And this is a heavy figure. This boy has got some heft to him. No accessories besides the alternate head, which if I take him off the card, I'll probably use that head instead of the one he's got on now. The Thing was always one of my favorite characters in Marvel. Growing up, I read Marvel Team Up starring Spider-Man and Marvel 2-in-1 starring The Thing. And each month, Spider-Man and The Thing would team up with a different Marvel hero and go on an adventure. So those two books were a quick and easy way to learn about all the different characters in the Marvel Universe. And continuing with this series, we have Psycho Man. Always loved the design of this character. So 
he was created by Lee and Kirby in Fantastic Four Annual Number no. 5 in 1967. But I know him from his appearance in the Micronaut series from 1979. He appeared in two issues where the Micronauts teamed up with the Fantastic Four to battle Psycho Man. Always liked that character design. And he did appear in the animated series in the 90s, and he did have a Toy Biz figure of him in the 90s as well. But that is a nice looking update. And the last figure I have in that series in this box, a High Evolutionary. This was an unusual choice to include in this series. High Evolutionary actually made his first appearance in a Thor comic back in 1966 and although he did appear in some Fantastic Four comics he did not appear in the 90s animated series he actually appeared in the X-Men series as well as Spider-Man Unlimited so uh, an unusual choice to put in the Fantastic Four retro line as he was not part of that original series in fact this is the first action figure ever of the High Evolutionary so uh, strange choice they could have filled the spot with someone that was actually in the original line or in the original series like mole man or the wizard but that spot went to the high evolutionary for some reason now i'm not complaining it's a good looking figure he's got a, a rich history with the marvel universe he's been involved in a lot of different storylines and that's also a nice looking figure next up Dracula and the creature from the Black Lagoon so these two are made by Jada Toys or if you prefer Jada we know Jada to make die cast vehicles and small figures from various franchises but this is the first time they are making action figures and right out of the gate, they have a pretty major license with Universal Monsters, making them in the very popular six inch scale. See the rest of the assortment on the back there. They also have Frankenstein and the Bride, which I have not purchased yet. But it will be very interesting to get these out of the package and see what the quality is, and see how Jada has done with making action figures, moving from die cast to action figures. They also have the license to do the uh, General Mills monster serial characters. They've done Count Chocolate and Frankenberry. Who do we have next? Ah, Transformers. Transformers Selects. So this is a character called Ricochet. Let's open him up. You can see what he's all about. Ricochet started out in Japan in 1987 as a character called Stepper. He was a repaint of Generation 1 Jazz remolded into a Target Master. Stepper came to America as a reissue in 2004 where Hasbro renamed him Ricochet for some reason. And there's been a couple of different versions of this character released over the years. This is the latest in the Transformer Selects line. He is a repaint of Combiner Wars Jazz. And you can see his color scheme is sort of a, an opposite of Jazz. The white parts are black, the black parts are white. He's got that flame decal on his hood. It's a really cool looking figure. Excited to get him out of the box and transform him. Next up, we have Thundercats Ultimates Captain Cracker from Super 7. Now, I have not purchased any of these Super 7 Ultimates figures before, 
Thundercats was always one of my favorite series from the 80s because I really liked the character designs. I've been eyeing what Super 7 has been doing with this line. And I just wanted to grab one of these to sample so I can have an informed opinion on the quality. And there is Captain Cracker. Always liked that design of this character. He's a robot space pirate. So yeah, my first Super 7 Ultimates. I'm going to get him open, play with him, and uh, see if these are actually worth collecting, worth the price, because they are a bit pricey. And the last thing in this box, of course it's going to be a kaiju, right? This is Megalon from 1973's Godzilla vs. Megalon. His first and only film appearance, even though he is a very popular kaiju. And fun fact, back in 1977, NBC aired Godzilla vs. Megalon in prime time. First and only time the Godzilla movie was aired in prime time on network television. And that showing was hosted by John Belushi wearing a Godzilla suit. Unfortunately, the footage from that presentation has seemingly been lost over the years and uh, has not surfaced on anyone's home video or anything like that, so we will never get to see John Belushi in that Godzilla suit <laughs> if we wanted to. Uh, so, that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching this unboxing video. I will most likely do more videos in the future. And if I do, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Take care.